let me talk a moment about um, yin yang and a third pole. So we have, um, you know, in the last few weeks, we've been talking about, like, say, with regard to Pong Jin, like the yang expression, which is the moving outward from the body. And lastly, we talked about the yin energy associated with that. And that is the, as the arm goes out and extends and is the yang expression, there is the other arm is pulling back, creating poles in opposition. So we have a yang and we have a yin. And we can go the other way, yang and yin. And the yang is enhanced by yin to the degree that I'm able to create that yin feeling, feel the yin, I'm able to, then my yang is going to be even greater. So it's, it's part of one system. The important part that's often unstated in all this is the third pole, which is a neutral pole. That is, it's neither yin nor yang. And that is occupied by you. So when we go into that calm, centered, super conscious state, we occupy the wu wei, the not do. And when we go to Wei Wu Wei, which is doing based in non-doing, we then are moving, we're expressing, there's motion that, but it's also without losing the Wu Wei, without losing the not do. So we have these, we have, we're going from, from the, uh, the insubstantiality of the not do to the substantiality of the do. And that creates an energy flow. So energy, the way I like to think about it is the energy is the relationship that we assign to the, the two objects, how two objects are relating to each other. How the non-stuff that, that animates the stuff. And to the extent that I can hold two poles in opposition, I'm able to generate energy or chi. So, but to be able to do that, I have to be neither the yin nor the yang. I have to be this neutral pole, which is not a passive neutral pole, but a neutral pole of potentiality. This is kind of what they talk about when they talk about Wu Qi, which is non-manifestation, but infinite potentiality, infinite possibility. So if you consider that in that gap between thoughts, in that state where you are plugged into something greater, you have the capacity to much more than you do in your own limited objectified self. And when you do that, you occupy that, that state, you know, that quiet, serene mind, you then are able to say, oh, I'm going to extend outward. Oh, and then I'm going to be able to pull inward. And, and so that I can create these things. So being able to direct those two and to feel those two, then we're able to use that, use mind, use our wisdom mind, our E, to generate chi and transform it and take it even higher, take it into the, the realm of spirit or shen. So to be able to, to do that, but to be able to occupy your, at your center, and then 
consciously shift from one to the other. And how do we do that? We feel. We consciously feel. So we're going to do a little exercise to kind of play with this, this idea. And um, let's see how that goes, OK? Now let's start. Hmm. We want, as, as in all these things, well, the first thing we want to do is to get to that neutral place. We want to get outside of the mind monkey, move into the gap between thoughts, to feel the body, mind, spirit integration. So we feel the balls of the feet. Actually, step out, feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left, and then turn to the right. And step out with your left foot. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the right, and turn to the left. Pivot on your right heel. Good. So let's take it from here. Feel the balls of both feet. Feel the floor. Feel the weight of your body mind, of your body pressing down on the floor. Notice where in your foot you want it to be on the, along the inside of your foot, along the big toe line. Knees are unlocked. So keep that, you keep sitting down Feel your body sinking, and at the same time, just reach up with the crown of your head without pulling up from your feet at all. So you're feeling the crown of your head in opposition to the sung of your lower body. Tuck in the chin and open the jade pillow gate. Relax your lower back and allow your sacrum to drop, allow your coccyx to reach down. Do that and still reach up with the crown. And to do this, you will find that you need to move past your thinking mind. You have to move into a state of knowing that goes farther than thinking. Feel your elbows. Reach with your fingers. Bow down to the left. Bow down to the right. Get Sun Kwa. Reach with the clavicular notch. So you're lifting, opening the chest, opening the shoulders. Feel the chi in your hands. So this is the Wu Wei part. In Wu Wei, we're, we're focused on being. So this is the coherence, the stillness, state of being. The not do. Now feel the ball of your left foot. Feel where that touches the floor. Allow most of your attention to go to that while still maintaining your three pillars. Now feel the ball of your right foot. Let go of your left foot and feel the ball of your right foot. You'll still have some attention on your left foot, but you're bringing most of your awareness to your right foot, to the ball of your right foot. Now shift back to your left foot, feel the ball there. Now shift your ball to the ball of your right foot. So the emphasis here is not thinking about, but it's to feel. Feel the ball of your left foot. 
Feel the ball of your right foot. Now quickly go between left to right, to left to right. And notice that you are the neutral pole in the middle. You're the one directing your attention. You get to move your mind between your feet. You get to move your awareness between your feet. You get to move your energy between your feet. You're creating a alternating current as you're doing this. You're directing your energy. You're doing something with the energy. So we've moved beyond just the state of wholeness, a state of peace, and we're now into movement. We're into way, wu way. Now feel your left hand. Bring your awareness to that. You can even move it just to get that, get that feeling. And now feel the right hand and bring your awareness predominantly to the right hand. Now bring it to the left hand. Now bring it to the right hand. Left hand. Right hand. Left hand. Right hand. So you're shifting back and forth between those two. That shifting is creating energy flow. It's also creating hemispheric synchronization in your brain. You're rewiring your nervous system as you do that. But it's also acquainting you with you, the neutral terminal, the neutral pole in this process. You're not the left hand, you're not the right hand. You're not the action. You're the one that is directing it. Feel your left elbow. Feel your right elbow. Feel your left elbow. Feel your right elbow. Feel your left. Right, left, right. Now allow that to continue without thinking. Just feel your mind taking over at the superconscious level and accelerating that back and forth. This is what I think is meant by vibrating the chi. Any vibration is, can be seen as some piece of stuff that is moving in contrast to some non-stuff, some substantiality that's, that's interacting with an insubstantiality. If you think of a guitar string, it's vibrating back and forth. You got the stuff of the guitar string. What's it vibrating in? It's vibrating it in the space and the air that surrounds it, which is much more insubstantial. And that's what we're doing. We're vibrating the chi. We're drumming the chi. We're drumming substantiality and insubstantiality. We're vibrating it. Now, feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left, loading up the right leg, and then step in with the left foot. Return to center. Take a deep breath. And dissolve. Dissolve the thoughts, the chi, 
the body, everything, just let it go. Returning to that stillness, returning to the Wuji, to the Wu Wei, to the not do, state of being. <laughs> 